Hi guys, welcome to Tune Basics, the series that teaches you how to play the basics. Today we'll be looking at some of the fundamentals on how to play a tremolo harmonica with 24 holes. Here we have a tremolo harmonica with 24 holes in the key of C. Now we say 24 holes, even though when you look at it, it's technically 48 holes. But we treat the holes on top of and underneath each other as if they are one hole. Now, unlike the diatonic harmonica, each hole is either a blow or a breathe hole and will typically only produce one note. The hole that produces the lowest tone is hole number one. The hole next to it, number two. And so on. But you'll notice that they didn't exactly make a scale. So let's take a look at each hole and see what the tones actually are. And here's a piano keyboard to help you visualize where we are on the scale. As this tremolo is in the key of C, it helps to know first where all the C's are. You'll find them on hole 3, 9, 15, and 21. Likewise, if your tremolo is in another key, holes 3, 9, 15, and 21 will represent the bass note for whatever key your tremolo is in. For example, if your tremolo is in the key of G, then holes 3, 9, 15, and 21 will all make the G sound. Likewise, if your tremolo is in the key of D major, the holes 3, 9, 15, and 21 will all make the D sound. And so on. So as always, when learning any song on the harmonica, no matter what key your harmonica is in, the numbers you blow into or breathe out from will all still be the same. But for now, let's pretend our harmonicas are in the key of C. So blowing into the hole one produces G. Breathing in through two will produce D. Blowing into three produces C. But breathing into four produces F. Blowing into five produces E. Breathing in through six produces A. Blowing into seven produces G. Breathing in through eight produces B. Blowing into 9, C. Breathing in through 10, D. Blowing into 11, E. Breathing in through 12, F. Blowing into 13, G. Breathing in through 14, A. But blowing into 15 is C. Breathing in through 16, B. Blowing into 17 is E. Breathing in through 18 is D. Blowing into 19 is G. Breathing in through 20 is F. Blowing into 21 is of course C again. Breathing in through 22 is A. And blowing into 23 is E. And finally, breathing in through 24 is B. So if you played them all in succession, you would end up with something that sounds rather odd, like this. Uh... 
So to play the C major scale, or the scale that your harmonica is actually in, the tab would look something like this. Blow into three. Breathe in through two. Blow in through five. Breathe in through four. Blow into seven. Breathe in through six. Breathe in through eight. And blow into nine. The second octave would look like this. Blow into nine. Breathe in through ten. Blow into eleven. Breathe in through 12. Blow into 13. Breathe in through 14. Breathe in through 16. And blow into 15. And the third octave would look something like this. Blow into 15. Breathe in through 18. Blow into 17. Breathe in through 20. Blow into 19. Breathe in through 22. Breathe in through 24. And blow into 21. Now, if you compare these three octaves, you will notice that a pattern starts to emerge and the instrument begins to make a bit more sense. For example, the C is always a blow, no matter where it is positioned on the harmonica. In fact, C, E and G are always blows and D, F, A and B are always breathes. As you play each octave of the scale, you'll note that there is a distinct pattern of blow, breathe, blow, breathe, blow, breathe, breathe, as you move up the harmonica. And once you've mastered that, you're on your way to learning some great tunes. So now that you've got this far, why not check out my playlists for some awesome tremolo tutorials. And if you're looking for a tremolo harmonica, don't forget to click on the link to my Amazon shop in the description below for a great range of harmonicas. So keep practicing, and until next time, stay tuned. Hi guys, just wanted to say a big thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget I've got a store on Amazon. There's a link in the description below. Uh, if you're looking for a new instrument, that would be a good place to start. Uh, also, I've got links in the description to lots of other things like my Facebook account, my Instagram, my Twitter. I'd love to catch up with you guys there. So uh, until next time, stay tuned.